Hey guys, it's Emily and welcome back to my channel. So my birthday is tomorrow when you're watching this, if you're watching the day I upload. My birthday is 13th of September and I'm turning 20, which is terrifying. So I sat down and wrote out 20 things I want to do in my 20s. And I just thought I'd sit down and share it all with you guys today. Just a little chill video, um, share my goals for the next 10 years. Oh my god, my next big birthday. No, actually my next big birthday is my 21st, I was going to say it's my 30th, it won't be. And it's all good, no need to panic yet. Hope you guys enjoy this, if you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. So the first one is to graduate from uni. Um, I graduate in under a year now, which, oh my god, like what am I going to do? I honestly don't know. Second one kind of ties in with that and that is to have a successful career in music. Um, if you don't know, I write songs, I sing, I've actually got some songs out on Spotify um, which I'll leave linked down below if you want to check them out um, but hopefully at some point in my life I'll be winning Brit Awards and performing at festivals and Capital Jingle Ball and all these incredible things. My dream is to sell out my hometown arena, like I, I want to do that, that is something that I need to do I've got it in the back of my head, I'm going to do it. The third one for me is to reach my goals on social media. Um, I've set myself out goals, I'd love to get to 10,000 on here, um, 10,000 on my fashion account on Instagram and then my music account just to keep growing really because I'm quite happy with where I'm at with that right now. The fourth one for me is to go travelling. Um, I've not been abroad since I was 10. I would absolutely love to be able to go abroad. I want to go to France, Italy, Spain, um, basically travel around Europe at some point. So maybe once I've graduated, I might spend the summer abroad. Fingers crossed I get to travel at some point next year. So the fifth one is to be in a magazine. Um, <laughs> some people might think like, what? But I don't really read magazines now. Um, but when I was a kid, I used to love Shout and Pop Girl and all the little magazines that you get toys in like as a kid i absolutely loved that so i want to be in a magazine i want to have a photo shoot and have someone write about me i think that'd be so cool <laughs> the sixth one is to buy my dream house or apartment um i would absolutely love to have both i want a house here in scotland and i want a apartment in England somewhere, whether that's London or Liverpool or Manchester, I don't know, but I definitely don't have the financial stability to ever afford that right now. So hopefully at some point in my 20s I can afford that. That would be an absolute dream. Number seven is to learn how to drive. Um, currently I'm not allowed to because of my condition. Hopefully when I go to my next um, neurology appointment, they turn around to me and they're like, you can drive um, and hopefully everything's kind of calmed down, like my nerves not as swollen and all of that. So I'm praying. I really want to learn how to drive. Number eight is to have my own clothing line with a big brand. I would absolutely love this. I love fashion, love clothes, love everything about shopping because who doesn't? But if I could ever have my own clothing line with a brand, like that would be an absolute dream like can you imagine i think most girls dream of that like especially when they go into like the fashion side of stuff like that is a goal like whether you're opening up your own clothing line or collaborate with a brand like i would love to collaborate with a brand love to do one with like asos or philip thing or a brand like that like that's the goal nine is to meet someone and settle down and i did just laugh when i said that um i've never had a boyfriend and I am 20 in two days from when I'm filming this. Um, obviously I've like went on dates with guys. I've never really made it past the first date because I don't know. I just don't get attached to people very easily. So I don't know. Hopefully at some point in my 20s I actually do settle down with someone. Um, right now I just don't see that happening. I could shock myself. I might meet someone this year and end up in love with them for the rest of my life 
but I just don't see that happening right now. So hopefully at some point in the next 10 years, I will. <laughs> we'll see. 10 is to host an event for charity. Love to do a charity gig and have a bunch of artists perform at it. Um, people from uni, people out with uni that I have connections to in the music industry. Um, and put all the money that's raised towards a charity. I have so many different charities I want to do something for, so um, hopefully I can host an event at some point. Um, I do think that will be over the next couple of years. I, th I think that will be quite soon. 11 is to meet a Highland cow. I absolutely love Highland cows. I think they're so cute, but I've never met one. I've never seen one. And I was up north last week or the week before. I kept on asking people, is there any Highland cows? And we're like, yeah, there is. I never saw one, so I don't know. And then when we were driving home, um, I was too distracted by a Shrek fan that was in front. Um, the guy, literally the Reggie plate said Shrek, and he had a Shrek mask on the chair beside him. The van was green, Shrek and Donkey were on it. I was amused. Um, and we passed by some Highland cows and I didn't see them. And they were like, you've just missed them. And I was like, oh my God, like, I need to see Highland Cows and apparently there's an experience somewhere, I think it might be in Scotland, but like up north um, and you can go and feed Highland Cows. So I want to do that. <laughs> 12 is to go hill walk. Um, obviously there's a lot of hills in Scotland, so it should be quite easy to find one to walk up. But um, it's just kind of, I can do it on my own, but I can't drive myself there. Um, so it would be nice to do that with someone. I think just to be able to like push myself and be able to be like, oh yeah, I done like a two hour hill walk and made it to the top. Like, I feel like, it, I don't know, in the back of my mind, it's like, that's so easy to do. It's just getting there. But I feel like when I'm actually doing it, I was like, oh my God, why did I do this? Um, but I'd love to do it. 13 is to take my family on holiday. If I was financially stable enough, I would actually take my full family on holiday. No joke, would love to do that. I don't know where we would go. I've not thought that far. Maybe Canada, like maybe take my family to Canada. Um, it's a very special place to my family because we've got family over there. So it would be great to be able to afford to take them one day. 14 is to get a pet from an animal shelter. I want to get a pet when I have own place and also I've got dogs, four of them are literally lying right beside me right now. I would absolutely love to have my own pets when I move out. Like these are my pets, but also if I move out, I'm going to want like a pet with me. So um, I'd love to get one, but also get it from an animal shelter, rescue it. I just think it's like so special to be able to do that and to help. Um, because you don't know what their background was. 15 is to go skiing. Um, the place I was up north was Aviemore the other week and the place I was working actually said to me that it's really good to go skiing there in the winter. So I might go this year, I might go another year or I might go abroad somewhere to go skiing, who knows. I can't ski clearly because I've never been. Um, but I think it'd be fun. I've watched so many vlogs where people went skiing and it just makes me want to go. Like, I really want to go skiing. 16 is to go on a road trip. Um, there's one in Scotland, I can't remember the name of it, but it literally takes you around up the highlands and back down and I would absolutely love to go on a road trip and just go away for like a couple of weeks in a car, um, take a few things with us and just go just go explore like what's around scotland because i've only ever been to a few places and to be able to see like different parts of where i'm from um i think it'd be great 17 is to teach um i don't know if this will be in a university or a school or if i'll open up my own performing arts academy but i've always wanted to teach when i was in school i used to look at uni degrees for acting and drama teaching um then obviously I went back into music so I would love to teach in the performing arts sector whether that is drama because I have a degree in acting from college um or if I go and do music teaching or combine the two I'm not too sure um but I would love to teach at some point it's just something that I've always wanted to do I don't know if I'll do it full time I think it might be a part-time thing but it's something I really want to do at some point in my life to be able to help people through the performing arts 
I find that really so fun and just so rewarding. 18 is to see a West End and Broadway show. I've seen some musicals, I've been to Edinburgh, I've seen some here. Um, but I really, really want to go and see one down in London and in New York. As someone who loves theatre and loves everything about the performing arts, I think it's like to be able to say you've been to those, to be able to say you've been to a West End show or a Broadway show is just like amazing. So I really want to go, I don't know what I want to see, but I would love to go see a musical in London and the West End. Um, or I'm at Broadway. 19 is to start a podcast. When I moved down to Liverpool on my first night out, someone actually said to me I should start a podcast um, because of my accent. But I just, I want to do a podcast. I listen to them all the time. I listen to my friend Tony's. I listen to Sophia and Chinsia's and Megan Welsh's. I love podcasts. They're just so easy listening and like you don't have to watch something. I think you can just kind of go about your day doing what you're doing but also have that on the background and listening and I love it. I'd love to have my own podcast. Right now I think it's maybe too much because I'm just starting this back and I'm trying to do stuff with my music but maybe over the next year I'll start up a podcast. I need to learn how to edit them because I have a Scooby-Doo but I think if I do start one it'll be about like my life, things I've been through, advice, story times like funny story times um so yeah and the last one is to write a book and publish it i don't know what type of book this will be it might be one that's creative writing um that's just something i've always loved i've loved creative writing i used to enter competitions when i was younger for it so maybe i'll write a book like zoella done or maybe i'll do an autobiography if i'm making it big time <laughs> um who knows maybe both but i do really want to write a book and publish it i think that'd be so cool like just be like oh yeah i've got a book out i definitely see myself doing that i love anything creative i love writing not essays do not like essays i'm terrible at them but i'm really good at writing stories so maybe i'll release a book soon well yeah that's my list of 20 things that i want to do in my 20s hopefully i achieve them all obviously if i don't i'm not putting pressure on myself to achieve them all and um, timing is everything so what might not happen in my 20s might happen in my 30s if you stuck to the end thank you so so much if you don't already follow me make sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up Um, i can't remember if i even said that at the start but if i didn't no big deal hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video bye guys